Oh dear, hello and welcome to 46 Extra. Oh dear, can't get any worse than 46, can we, with that abomination of a tractor there. And if you can just see in the background there, I've set the tractor up, ready to blow it up. <laughs> just because, if I don't figure out how to sort it out, and one thing we're going to break the rules and build off camera, well, off the main series. There you go, can't look any worse. <laughs> oh, that's bad, isn't it? Well, yeah, so need help building tractors, definitely. Um, yeah, so this extra episode, what are we going to do? First of all, I'm just going to show you that we messed up when we were building the pyramid. I didn't think about it till after. Oh, there it is. It's looking over there. Why is it looking over there? Oh, that's the monuments over there, isn't it? Um, we did the worst possible entrance into that, really. Made it really difficult. Obviously changing the button into a lever and everything like that. But there is a lot easier ways of doing it. So let me just show you how we should have done it. Just find a random hill like so. As you do. Now break in one, two, three, four. Is this hill even high enough? I don't know. Break out six into it like that. And then break, what is it? One, two, three, four, like that. That's it. Yeah, so there's your little hill. Obviously, your hill can go wherever you oh, wherever you want it to. So just find it where it's got like a two and then raises up. So dig in six and then down by two, like that. Simple, really. Place your piston there. Dig down below the piston and shove a redstone torch in the front this is a FedEx design I'm not taking credit for this by the way FedEx go and check him out redstone legend All right and then all you do here is is it it's the repeater with the redstone on top and the redstone behind I think and then break this block otherwise it will try and push into the weight and then just place that block there and it should power it all up like that and when you update which one is it yeah, you place that there. I think you need you need to place a block there. Yeah, so you need to place that block there. Place that block there, and you see it will update and flash like this. So every time, why is it not working? What have I done wrong? Every time, every time I do something wrong. What did I do wrong? That block goes on there. That block goes there. Why is it not staying out? What have I done wrong? Two ticks delay. That was it. I forgot about that. Have to put that repeater on two ticks delay. Then, when you update that, it'll stay out. When you update that, it'll go back in. But, it now means that you have a tunnel here. And then you place your ladder on... I haven't even got ladders. How bad is that? Uh, ladders, right? Oh, I just remembered. The only thing we're doing it, where well, I'm doing it, is I'm using glass, aren't I? So we'll do that for now, so it doesn't keep changing. Oh no, I forgot. It's so awkward placing ladders in tunnels when they're only one deep, aren't they? Oh my gee, come on! Yeah, I say oh my G because I don't say oh my god because God's not real. So sorry if I've offended everyone, but it's not real. Deal with it. Um Yeah. That's it. And then whenever you want to get in, you throw a torch there and it'll shut. Throw a torch there and it'll open, see? Now the only problem with this one is is it's an update. So you can place a torch there and it'll open and shut. Well it'll open but it won't close. Now the problem you have using this with grass is if you leave it open too long this grass dies it turns into mud and then what happens is it closes like that you say oh I didn't even how oh, weird's that I was trying to show you it and it did it while I was on the menu so it dies and then closes now when the grass grows back it reopens so this door basically now will automatically, every time the grass grows, it will open. Every time the grass dies, it will close again. 
Now you can use that to your advantage if you hide this like somewhere in the woods or whatever. But all I would suggest is make sure that either use a dirt, you know, the new, uh, what's the other dirt? Not the normal mud dirt, the compressed dirt, is it? I don't know what it's called. Is it the, where is it? It's down near the pods, you know, isn't it? The coarse dirt. If you use coarse dirt, obviously grass will never grow, so it won't thingy. But the top tip for this one is just literally make sure that you open it, you go in, and then to shut it behind you, just oh, just shut it like that behind you. So the grass is then doesn't die. And to get out, oh, how does it? You can't place, can you? To get out, you have to break that torch and then place it back jump out quick and then place it back before the grass dies because once that grass dies under there it will shut and be mud and then it will just keep opening and closing opening and closing opening and closing opening and closing but as i say you can use that to your benefit if you really wanted to um there is ways of doing it like i'm not going to do it now actually because it's too much redstone for you lot if you change that block that's pushing into a slime block with a redstone block on top of it and then have power there to something else, then deliberately open it and let the grass die. It will close for however long and power whatever. And then when the grass grows, it'll open, which will take the power away. And then, so yeah, you can have like an automatic random kind of timer, really. It kind of, yeah. Because the grass is random. Sometimes it grows really... It's like that. I can leave that there now. No one knows it's there. Not even me. I can't even find where I put it. So that, as I say, how difficult is that going to be to find if you hide that on an Xbox One world? Full-size world. What's that? 25 maps? 5 by 5 And the only entrance into your base is that. It's going to be very difficult for someone to find. So, yeah, it's like we'll leave that there, and I bet we probably couldn't even find that again. Right, look where it is, everyone, on this extra episode. See, it's in line with the pyramid. If you come along the pyramid, it's on the second one up, and it's on that kind of blank bit kind of there. Like that. Now we'll just leave that, and we'll forget about it, and we'll probably end up building something on top of it. But it's there. So... In fact, I'm going to do it again, just so I make sure I get it right. Because the more times I do it, the more times I remember it, if you know what I mean. So, three, four, five, six. That's the only thing though, isn't it? You've got to then go down there. Sticky piston in there. Come on, in there. Two down next to it. Repeat that one. Two ticks, that's the important bit. Redstone, redstone, break that redstone torch. And then that would be the tunnel. And then, yeah, that's the only problem with here, is obviously we didn't have the free hide bit. But here's another top tip of being able to hide it. If we do this, so you can hide it all like so. We go into there, and if we place that block on there, come on, place it and then the redstone torch should update it. So what you can do here is if you want to hide this, what's the trees that are around here? Acacia, aren't they? So you get your, clear that, acacia sapling, you grab your acacia plank, or not plank, wood, acacia wood, you grab bone meal, which I know is there, use it quite a lot, uh, you place your tree on the block, your bone meal, until it grows, oh, you don't get stuck, please don't get stuck. You break that block and then you place, go off the redstone and place an extra block in there. You see, you can just hide that one there and then. And then you know that this little tree, see what I mean about that, look. It's the only problem you've got to watch for when you're doing it with grass and stuff is it registered on some sort of update. I don't know what, see, now it's gone into the auto loop thing. So let's grab some grass. And let's just fill this back in there. Come on, back in, like that. Torch, oh, we haven't got it, come on. Torch, torch, torch. Sometimes I think what it does is the grass 
in the game grows or something. Some one of the blocks of grass that I built round, the grass grew back, so it updated, and that's why it opened then. Don't worry. Once you've actually got it, oh look at that! How weird is that? Piece of grass in it. Yeah, once you've actually got it done, then it should never open again, unless you physically open it yourself. Obviously, that torch will go off now because yeah. Yeah, so obviously one of them blocks that I built on there, the grass grew and updated it. So yeah, that's the only thing we're building the grass. Make sure that you do the update thing. Make sure none of the blocks. Because the other thing as well is if you bone mill it like that, see, it doesn't make any difference. So you could hide it really well. Like now you know. Hey, look, you got a little little key there now. You put it in between the red and yellow flower. See. Now, unless you knew, you'd never think of putting a torch between a red and yellow flower, would you? In all honesty, come on. Who in their right mind goes around going, oh, let's place redstone torches on every single square block that's got like a kind of hill or like a ledge or a tree or, you know, you wouldn't. It's so easy to hide this little entrance. And FedEx has taught me so much simple stuff that people should really know. Like the other one is the simple chest hiding the chest is the simplest thing in the world to do uh, you just need to use the chest with the mine carts now everyone should know how to do this really but they don't and i don't know why because let's just hide a chest somewhere now we'll go here right one two three them three blocks were there but what we'll do is I'll put that middle one back actually to put that on and then put that on top and then just break it so now the chest is sat there so then we go oh one two and place a block across there and you want to go up another two like that and across so you can see what we're about to do it's pretty straightforward stick your piston oh come on stick your piston facing down and then just literally power it with something. Can't power it like that, can I? Can I power it like that way? Yeah. And it'll just. I didn't put the block in between, did I? I'm so stupid. Then you're supposed to put the block in between. And then it'll push the bottom block right over the top of the cart. And as you see, you kind of get that black glitch line, but. You see that? That is hidden in a block. So you can build it, like spin it around like that, you can't see it. Oh, I can't place there because it's pushed over that way, but if we push it over that way. And then you can just place on top like that. And again, you could do the tree thing there if you wanted. In fact, that's what we will do now because we have the tree with us. We will just, come on, bone mill the tree, place that there. And did I get rid of the wood? No, it's in the inventory. And we'll place that one there. All right, now. Who's going to think at the bottom of that tree, there's a chest. Woo! See? So them two are probably the most hidden two things you can do. You've got super hidden chest because it's like hidden in a block. You can put that in a wall. You can put it in a ceiling. You check out FedEx. He's got way, it shows you how to put it in walls, ceilings. Everyone else uses it as well. And this one here is the most hidden entrance ever because... I can't even remember where it is now. See? It's good, because I can't find it. We know we've got one in between the red and yellow flower. So we can work out from there then. We've got that one there, which we know about. So then you can work out that it's in front of the tree. And then find roughly where it is there, you see? So yeah, you've got an entrance to that tree, an entrance there in the flowers. We've got a new block where ever it was that I hid it where did I hide it oh that's the thing now when I fly around and I forget where I hid it um, yeah so yeah you can hide them anywhere anyway it's that one isn't it yeah see so you can hide them pretty much anywhere and I think what we'll do is we'll put a torch on that tree There you go, there's a torch on that tree. There's your indication there is something on that tree. That way I won't lose it again and forget in the future. 
In fact, it's right near there anyway, isn't it? It's the first tree. All right, we'll get rid of that. I don't want anyone else to find it. Come on, only the extra people will know. So, yeah. What else? I'm trying to think. There's loads of hidden stuff. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll show you how to do as well, just because I think this is really fun. Uh... Sticky pistons, in it? Yeah. I was trying to think what I needed then. Sticky pistons and slime. And pressure plates. Simple. Put the slime there. And pressure plates. We'll use wooden ones just because we can. And that's it. We're just going to have a launch pad here just because we can. Right. Just because we can. Right. So. Sticky piston. That's it, isn't it? I have to change that and that for obsidian. Uh, oh, did I swap out the redstone? I am so rubbish at doing that. So rubbish at swapping out what I'm bloody using. It's freaking annoying, isn't it? It's slime block on top. Right now we need the obsidian. You can use furnaces or any immovable block, but obsidian. We're in creative. It doesn't matter, does it? So then we'll just place that there and there like that. And now that should just launch us up in the air. I don't know how high we're going to go. But there we go. So if we can't read at the top, we can just go. What did it say? Desert. What? Let's have a read. Desert Temple. Right, yeah. See? <laughs> you can actually read it in survival. Oh, no. Waterman. Yay. Yeah, something really simple. That's like the three simplest redstone things you can build. Redstone entrance. How weird is that? Yeah, redstone entrance, redstone launch pad, and a hidden chest. They are like the most simple redstone things you can do. And you've had a 17 minute extra video. So, there you go. Some little hidden redstone tricks and tips and whatnots and whatnots. That sound like blooming Bigby stats. What not? What not? Hey! Right, yeah. Was that worth it? Probably not. Not even worth the 17 minutes wasting your time watching it. But, hey, do something exciting to watch, shall we? Let's do this. Uh, save game. Okay. Oh, my God, it's Xbox 360. I just remember it's going to take forever to save. Because Xbox 360 takes ages and ages and ages. Oh, here we go. Can I make a brew and come back? Right. So now I've saved it, so... You know what's going to happen now. Let's blow up. Let's blow it up. Oh, that was rubbish. I need more TNT. Anyway, it'll still be there when we come back because I won't save as a exit now. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Come and join me in survival in a minute. I'm going to play survival in a minute. I'm going to boot the Xbox One up. Yay. Kids will be back in a minute as well. So I think we'll all just have some playtime just play i may stream it i don't know we'll see see you tomorrow bye 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 go on go go there's better things to do than watch me go on clear off bye.